Conservative radio legend Rush Limbaugh has left behind a very polarizing legacy in his death. As KPIX 5's Don Ford reports, Bay Area political figures are divided on how Limbaugh shaped the face of politics. The news this morning was startling, but yet not surprising. Rush Limbaugh has been fighting stage four terminal lung cancer for more than a year. Limbaugh's wife, Catherine, made the announcement at the beginning of the radio show this morning. It is with profound sadness I must share with you directly that our beloved Rush, my wonderful husband, passed away this morning due to complications from lung cancer. For decades, Limbaugh entertained listeners, infuriated folks, and brought his own style of daily commentary to AM radio. Rush Limbaugh, for many, was the king of those that were right of center and had was incredibly influential because politicians on the right often watched what he had to say and took advice from him. Limbaugh's audience was enormous. Estimates range from 15 to 27 million listeners a Welcome week. San Francisco's Willie really Brown doesn't believe Limbaugh's passing will have much effect on politics. I don't think his passing changes the political landscape. I don't think he had that kind of a following and that kind of an impact. He was not a person that could have dropped the mic and gotten elected to anything. San Francisco State University professor Joe Tooman remembers Russia's early days. He started off being funny, and, and so his defense when he said something offensive was to say, oh, I was only joking, which was the sort of same sort of thing that Howard Stern would say. Final resting plans for Mr. Rush Limbaugh have not been announced. In San Francisco, Don Ford, KPIX 5. In the last years of his life, Limbaugh went to bat for former President Trump from the special counsel investigation to his second impeachment trial.